Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today Bitcoin is sitting at around $90,000. We had a nice bounce from the lows and I want to do a quick check in on where we are from a momentum perspective. Most of the momentum indicators that, that I track are still pointing down and long term holders are still you know, distributing. And today I want to walk through a few key charts and show you what the data is actually telling us about where Bitcoin might be headed next. And before I jump in, I want to just mention I've I released a, a new update on chart inspect. You can see the exact changes on the change log. And so basically pro users can now set alerts uh, on on all on most of the charts now. And so you can you receive notifications via telegram. And I've also added a couple of new uh, pro charts as well. So let's dive into the charts. So today uh, Bitcoin is currently sitting at around ninety thousand dollars and Bitcoin dropped from, you know, one hundred twenty six K all the way down to eighty thousand five hundred over the past month or so we tested the true market mean at 81,000 and this is sort of acted as support uh, that's about a not 14 percent bounce from the lows from where we were currently at from that level and and this isn't surprising uh we've seen the true market mean act as support before in 2021 in the summer correction bitcoin tested this level at around 30,000 and eventually bounced back to to new all-time highs at, at 69k so like i said in the last couple of videos Anything below the true market mean has historically been a pretty good accumulation territory. You know, we've dipped we dipped below it briefly and now we're back above it, of course. But here's what I'm what I'm watching right now is is we can is if we can actually, you know, sustain this move higher, or is this, you know, just a relief rally before we potentially continue lower and retest some of these lower uh key on chain metrics. And so to look at that, I wanna I wanna talk about the uh hodler net position change. And so this metric measures whether long-term holders, the hodlers are, are either accumulating or distributing Bitcoin at any given time. And so the green bars here mean ho means hodlers are basically adding to their positions, they're accumulating, and the red bars mean that they're reducing positions, they're distributing, they're moving coins out of their wallets, right? So if you look at the, the sort of historical bat pattern here, you know, it's pretty clear the green bars typically show uh, show up during these correction phases, during accumulation phases in bear markets. And these red bars typically occur during bull markets and distribution phases. You know, we've seen this throughout all cycles in 2017 in the first peak in 2021, uh, when we first hit the new all-time high at 72K, when we hit 110K for the first time, and now we've been seeing more distribution recently. And so right now we are seeing negative, uh, negative flows about negative... 7,000 Bitcoin on a smooth basis, 30 day EMA. So long term holders are still moving coins uh, into this balance, moving coins out of their wallets, uh, perhaps into newer wallets, who knows. But all in all, you know, long term holders are, are still distributing their Bitcoin. And so even though we've bounced from $80,000 to $90,000, longer term investors that we can tell on chain are, are using this as an opportunity to reduce their positions and that's not necessarily a bullish sign for the short short term and so one of the uh momentum indicators i want to talk about is the short-term holder sopar momentum so sopar stands for the spent output profit ratio so this is more of the realized uh sense so most of the indicators are looking at the unrealized profit and loss so the mvrv uh the true market mean this is looking at Basically, the amount of Bitcoin being moved on chain, is it being moved at a profit or a loss, right? So the realized sense and the short term holder variant of this is looking at short term holders, people who bought within the last 155 days. And these are the newer term buyers, the more emotional participants. And what I've done here on the chart is I am we're looking at the uh, short term holder SOPR to its longer term average, which in this case is the one year. Uh, and so when it's above the average, we get these these green bars, positive momentum, right? And when it's below, we we get these red bars, and so that's negative momentum. And so right now we we're still in a negative momentum territory. We switched to negative from positive at around 110, 112k. And if if we look at 2022, for example, you know we saw these extended periods of, of red momentum. That was the phase shift from around you know fifty four thousand dollars. We saw in the first peak in the bull market to to essentially this extended bear market. Of course, it, it didn't get this this rally up to 69k from 30k. 
because the momentum uh, is a bit low here or a bit high here. So if, if we look at it from a from a 90 day momentum period, you can see it's a bit more sporadic, like the, the signals get get more and more convoluted. Uh, essentially, when we first saw the signal at around fifty thousand dollars and then it turned positive at around forty two thousand dollars and then negative at around fifty thousand dollars. And so it's not a bad uh, thing to, to look at it on a shorter term time frame basis. But I, I do want to look at on a longer term term time frame basis. So and then uh, in 2022, in late 2022, we saw it start, start to finally flip green here at around $17,000. So it pretty much captured this, this local bottoming period here. That marked you know, the start of this new run here. And so right now, we're, we have been seeing more red bars recently. The momentum is, is still shifted towards the downside. You know, these short-term holders who, who bought at $100,000, $110,000, $120,000, they are sitting on losses and that weighs on the overall momentum for, for this indicator, right? So let's take a look at the levels that I'm watching for right here. And the big one is still the, the MVRV mean at around $103,000. We broke below this level a few weeks ago and it's now essentially uh, resistance at this point if we do retest it. And so we are just above uh we are, are, are just above that, I mean, is the short term holder cost base that are on one hundred four thousand uh, dollars. This has actually been decreasing a few weeks ago is around one hundred eight thousand dollars. Now it's it's at one hundred four thousand dollars. And so it's decreasing because short term holders supply is increasing by definition as long term holders uh, start to move coins. We start to see more of the supply head towards that short term cost base or short term holder cohort at these lower prices, which brings down the average cost basis for this for the cohort, right? Since they initially had a, a much, much higher cost basis at around $112,000, I think it was at the all time high. And so we have this cluster of resistance at around 103, $104,000, the MVRV mean and the short term holder cost basis are basically converging there. And the last time we saw this converge was actually when we had this, this decent rally from the short term holder uh, from the true market mean at, at around $33,000 last cycle up to around uh, $47,000. And that is that also corresponded to these these two moving averages converging. And then the price essentially came back up to that, those levels and then then got rejected from those from those levels. Right. And so if we see a similar thing play out this cycle where these two start to converge, the Amber RV mean and the short term lower cost basis, we we saw this bounce from the from the true market mean. If Bitcoin continues up to around one hundred and three hundred four thousand dollars, and then gets another you know rejection from this level, then these these moving averages would continue to move down, and we would probably see support at around that seventy five to seventy thousand dollars level, potentially even you know going down as low as sixty thousand dollars to the realized price that we've seen. Uh, Bitcoin holds support at in the in the past. I'm not saying we have to go down there. I'm saying it, you know, it's just been a, a historical uh, you know precedent for Bitcoin. And so, if we do get above this level 103k and we can't break through, if we essentially get rejected, that would be a pretty clear signal that you know we're still in a correction phase. If we roll over here uh, from 103k, I'm still watching the true market mean. Uh, that's where we bounced right, and then the you know, the major support level that we saw in March and in, in, in July, which is that $70,000 to $75,000 level. That's the previous all time high. And that's where the true market mean will, will likely decline to as we start to roll over more here, if we start to roll over more here. So putting all this together, firstly, you know, long term holders are still distributing. Secondly, short term holder so far is, is still negative. Newer buyers are, are continued to be underwater. Many other uh, momentum indicators are also down, and that has historically been, you know, a, a bad signal for Bitcoin. Uh, the other momentum indicators that are trending down are, are the long-term holder PVR, MVRV momentum, and others. You can check those out on the website. Uh, third, third of all, we bounce from the the true market mean. That's historically been strong support, right? And then, you know, the short-term holder cost base is still declining. We've started to see this. We've seen this start to decline in, in prior correction phases. And finally, the key resistance uh, to the upside 103 to 104K uh, is still still a big line in the sand for, for me at least. And so the picture hasn't really changed with this bounce quite yet. 
Yes, we are up from $80,000 to $90,000, but the underlying indicators are still pointing towards distribution and weakness, most of which have been negative since, you know, 110, 115K. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a push towards that 103K level here. Uh, you know, relief rallies can be sharp, but I, but I also wouldn't be surprised to see a rejection at that level. The bull case, you know, although the, although likelihood is, 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 diminishing at this point uh the bull case would require us you know to break above back above the the mvrv mean and short-term roller cost basis and then see conviction you know a conviction rally above the previous uh you know support levels here for the previous all-time high around 115k if we break above 115k that that could potentially be a line in the sand to look for and so i think Long-term rollers are still distributing overall. The big picture is that they've been doing this since 110K. They're not done yet. And historically, you know, when hodlers are distributing, that's usually late cycle behavior, right? So does that mean we can't go higher? No, but it does mean, you know, the risk to reward ratio has, has sort of shifted here. And most long-term rollers are, are still reducing exposure and not adding, right? right? Either way, the long-term thesis, in my view, doesn't change whether we bottom at 80K, 75K or lower, Bitcoin over, you know, a five to 10 year time horizon has still, it's still going to be a solid bet in my opinion. I think as long as you stick around in this market, it will pay off. If there's any advice that I could give to my younger self, it would be, you know, to work as hard as possible uh, to be able to afford the luxury of accumulating at these lower prices because sooner or later, Bitcoin will recover. And so, I think that's that's something to, to watch for here. So all these charts are available for free at chartinspector.com. Thank you guys for watching. Link is in the description below. If you found this helpful, like hit the like, subscribe, and, and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.